So then welcome back to the quarterfinals here in Selzy. We've got Trina Gulliver up against Joe Clements. Second time we've seen the Golden Girl on the stage today. And if it's anything like her first performance, expect some tungsten fireworks to go down. Mm. Yes, a 180, a 142 finish. And then we heard that in the game that she went back to the floor and she didn't just save it for the stage because she took out a 148 with her opponent on double four to make it into this quarter final. Our second left handed lady. Yes. Joe, Suzanne Smith being left hander. The fellow member of the left handed club. Oh, are you? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, there we go. The fellow member of that club. I'm not biased in any way, but uh, it's great to see the lefties doing well. <laughs> Lancashire Did versus Lincolnshire here, of course, as well. Great big county battle. Yep, indeed so. Indeed so. I'm not sure in darts whether left-handers have the elegance. In cricket, a left-hander batsman always gets a lot of credence for being elegant. I'm not, I don't know whether that carries over in darts. Uh, do you think, I think a lot of it's down to the fact that the way the TV screens lie, it's always only ah. one position, isn't there? And I think, I think you look at left-handed players, it just doesn't feel as natural when they're flying on the TV, if that, if that makes sense. Because they're so used to watching right-handers play, and of course about 90% of players, maybe more, are right-handed. So I think perhaps when you look at it on the TV screen, because it looks so different, perhaps the appreciation isn't there so much. Fair comment, fair comment. Doesn't stop them being good players, though. No, indeed not. We've had some great left-handed players as well in the past. Indeed. There's Wallace, world champion. Mark Webster, world champion. Yes, indeed. James Wade representing England. He's won just a few majors, hasn't he? <laughs> This is quarterfinal number three, if you have just joined us here on the live stream. Yes, we've got Fallon has already won her game. She uh, she came through against Suzanne Smith. And Fallon will play the winner of our final quarterfinal, which will be Dieter Hebman and Natalie Gilbert. And you may just have seen Anastasia Dobromislova winning 4-3 against Lorraine Hyde and Anastasia will be the opponent for the winner of this match in tomorrow's semi-final. Could see a meeting of two of the game's greats. Joe Clements will definitely have something to say about that one. Indeed. And of course, three o'clock tomorrow is when the semi-finals of this event and the England national singles take place. We play both of those events down to a winner tomorrow afternoon so save the date save the time and it's on the same place here on the England Darts YouTube channel indeed we were talking about um, the semi-finals of the ladies national singles and two of the players that have made the semi-finals in uh, Fallon over. It's and Anastasia in both semi-finals the, the England national singles and the England Open so it would be interesting to see whether that happens in the men's competition as well. That's a 25. But we'll have more of that after the next two ladies games. And that's outside the 25. No, Joe the wins the ball. Are going for the bullseye. First leg, it's Joe to throw first. Game on. That is Joe Clements who won the bull up and will throw first in the all important odd numbered legs. We saw in the last game, which went all the way to a decider, how important that can be. But look at this for a start. One hundred and twenty-one. had two 180s in two stream matches to kick off for Trina Gulliver. She is in imperious form this afternoon. Showing off. The lady is showing off. 58. So I mentioned the last time she played winner of the inaugural Women's England Open back in 2008 here in Selsey. Then won it two years later. So hasn't won this particular event for 11 years. So it'd be nice to mm. add another trophy to that big, big cabinet. Yes, it will be 
an emotional day, the day that Trina gets back into the winner's circle for definite in the dark. One hundred. There's lots of sporting comebacks. Obviously, Trina's comeback to win the tenth title was in itself an unbelievable achievement. Uh, to, to do it again would be incredible. Fifty seven. Shows of the greats. Form is temporary, but class is most definitely permanent. And she's showing the class here this weekend. Averaging just a shade under 88. Although, of course, in these early legs, the averages do differ and go up and down. But she's left herself 194 after 12. So, steady opening leg here for the Golden Girl. 92. Yeah, 194 here for Twins. She'll be looking to set up. Love to get it into a two figure out shot, which will mean she needs to hit a treble. 60. I'm lucky there. Well thrown darts as well. Leads 134. Clements can only set up herself. It's Joe's turn to look for a 58. treble. 58. Interesting choice Trini for the last dart. 134. Up for the 20s here. 129. I was wondering if she was going to go downstairs for a moment there with 45. The single five, but Joe, you require 133. Yeah, it's interesting with the the, the natural. Oh, 133, three, 57 leaves 76. Shovel 13, perhaps. Great dart, 32 left. Great dart. Pressure's on Trina now. Trina, you require this 89. This will break a throw in the opening leg. 20 for the ball. The ball's eye for the opening leg. Forty-three. Just a little Joe, bit of hesitation there. I wonder whether she doubted herself, whether she'd left fifty, or just didn't feel quite comfortable as she pulled her arm back first time around. Game shot on the first leg. Joe Clement Clements steps in and takes second the leg. leg. It's Trina to throw. throw first. Game yeah, on. Yeah, the, the 101 from 133 was an excellent shot. The treble 13, great counting as well because it wasn't um, there wasn't any uh, 60. holding back when she hit the five off of 76 to lead 71. She went straight for the treble 13. I feel sure that for those players that count well, it can help them with their flow of darts rather than having to stop and have a think about those that what it is they need to hit to leave a finish or to, to hit their out shot. But 135 there from Clements against the darts in the opening 95. visit has applied a ton of pressure on Trina who of course loses his leg 2-0 down and Clements will have the throw in leg 3 would make life very difficult indeed. Yeah, especially with Joe having that won the ball as well. Great darts. And she's turning it on in this leg. One feet five, followed up by a one forty. Two two six after six. Sixty. And Trina again coming up dry when it comes to the treble bed. Back in the lipstick again. Ninety five. Didn't want that treble though. No, the difference between two two six and uh, sorry one two six and one three one is immense. Albeit with her with her opponent back, it's not the biggest worry in the world. But uh, two trebles must be hit for one three one. Joe, you require get away with one treble and a ball finish on on one two six. But treble thirteen now for double sixteen. Eighteen would leave tops. Ninety one. Tidy set up there from Joe Clements, and all Gulliver can do. Is pile on the pressure. 12 darts to, to be on tops. Joe, 41. an exceptional leg here. 135, 140, Joe, 95, 91. Trouble with every visit. But it's the double she wants now. Game and shot on the second kill. leg. 13 Joe dart Clements. legs from Joe Clements. Averaging 81.2. Game on. lead. Breaks the gull of a throw. And is throwing now for three leg to nil lead against the Golden Girl, who's been in such good form all day. 55. I think the one thing you can guarantee is that Trina won't panic. She's been in this position before, not least in the World Championship final against Lisa. 85. Things weren't going her way, but she doesn't lose her concentration, doesn't lose her focus. And just uh, 60. 
even though it's not been the Trina Guller of the past, Joe will just be sitting there thinking, oh, I can't let her off the hook here. And that in itself brings pressure, I think. Pressure being applied. AC5. Two consecutive 85s gives her a 55 point lead against the darts here. Joe could really do with the treble, and she's found that treble. 99. Have you got a direct line, Nick? <laughs> Got to get one or two right in an afternoon. <laughs> Sod's law, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for so long today. She's rescued the, the darts back. Now, Joe. But this won't be helping. Oh, 62. When you needed a treble. When you needed a treble, and it comes up good for Clements. Yeah, two two five next time. Just needs to be a bit careful that she doesn't three three six uh, three twenties. Albeit that very uncharacteristic from Trina there. Shut wrencher should come out. Oh no, doesn't need to now. Thirty. Well, Trina will think I've got away with that one because a ton now puts her back in front. You can sense that the two players are getting tense here. They know this is 60. an important passage of play in this quarter final oh, it's, it's, it's an immense I, I, look, please I wouldn't take anything away from Joe this is an, I, exceptional and for her to get to a semi-final or even a final it would be brilliant but, but Katrina Gulliver to come back you know for the first major tournament to reach a semi-final would just be absolutely 60 amazing and don't forget of course the winner of this tournament goes directly to the world championships Trina v Gulliver is a couple of games away from that Trina Gulliver. Amazing. It's exciting just thinking about it. But, of course, lots of darts. Trina Gulliver. Absolutely. 167. Says free, double 17 for 3 0 lead, unless Gulliver could take out the 167. He wouldn't put that past her today. 26. Joe, you require 34. I wonder whether she'll go two here. Might be tempted. Yep, she's a good well. I think she did go for the two. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt there. It's the most sensible 18. thing to do. And Trina, you require 141. Trina, it's we another big outshot at another big time. Yes, it wasn't to be, but we have we've seen one and heard about one. Not this time though. 41. Joe, you require so 16 for a three-nil lead. That's awkward. Left-handed. Uh, Going to have to come round the dart and at the top of the bed, perhaps. Yep, that's probably not the worst <laughs> outcome, to be fair. Open bed now at double four. Game and with shot one dart in the third hand, can take it. Joe and now Trina Gulliver has to win the lot. Fourth Joe leg Clemens gets Trina to throw is first. One leg Game away on. from the semi finals of the England Open. 40. Fifty-five. Of course, got one more quarter-final to come after this. We get to see the legend that is Dieter Hebman take on Natalie Gilbert. Should be a good game. That be nice to see Dieter back on the big stage. Yes, indeed. She's suffering with a bit of a hip injury at the moment as well. So uh, she's done well to get as far as fortunate. It's her left hip, so she's not not having to put the pressure on it. Forty. But Clements is applying the pressure. Mm. Big 140 at a big time. 60. Just struggling to find the trebles on a consistent basis now, Trina. Really needs to find a, a run of throws as Joe finds the treble again. 81. Now, as a referee, what were you going to say about that potential single 20 there? Yes. 85. 225 plays 233. Gulliver had the darts at the start of the leg. Thirty-nine. Can see what she was thinking there on the with the eighteens, but has that given Trina the chance? Yes, it has. Eighty-three. 
when push comes to shove she always finds a score first to an out shot but a big one on 150 she does take this leg you're not betting against her winning the game are you 58 she to do this a few times before Trina you require 150 Could she? two of them would have left double 15 but now all about leaving it handy 60 yes, Joe should go 18s here treble 18 Joe you require 128 at least 74 single would leave a chance for 60 and bull yep so it's 60 and bull a bit wild 43 little bit of nerves there perhaps Trina you require 90 definitely going 20s here Absolutely, she'd love to hit a treble 20. Oh, missed the big number. 40. Joe, you require 85. You straight she was as well, because this could be her last visit. 20 and bull. Bull for the match. 47. Gulliver has 50 herself. Mm, Trina, you require 50. Joe's left 38, which isn't an easy one. Oh, Trina, Trina. 3 or a 19 then. Three leaves 32, 19 leaves double eight. It's double 16 then to get a leg on the board. Oh. 34. That is desperately unlucky for Trina Garver. Well, Joe, you require 38. Well. And does Clements go straight for this double 19? Game. She does, Shots. and she hits and it, the and match. it's a white Joe wash Clements. over Trina Gulliver. What a performance from Joe Clements. She's into the semi finals of the England Open. She's coming back tomorrow. But a word for Trina Gulliver, her first tournament back. And she got herself to the quarterfinals and played some fantastic darts while she was there. Absolutely, Henry. I couldn't agree with you more. Fantastic to see Trina playing well. But we absolutely cannot take anything away from Joe. She's beaten Trina 4-0. You know, she's into the semi-finals, which guarantees her a place at the, uh, the World Masters in 2022, as it will now be. Uh, and still that ticket for the Golden Lakeside ticket is still there for her. And why not? Could well be next up our final quarter final. Dieter Hepburn against Natalie Gilbert comes next.